I would now like to introduce contestant number 15, Rishini. Culture shock but not affected. Culture shock but not affected, Rishini. Wow, expensive cars parked outside of the school. Wow, classes with air cons. Dear audience, this is how I exactly reacted when I stepped into an international school. Yes, culture shock is the exact word. Even now, I'm still not out of the face. But I can assure you that I am not affected, not influenced by any of this. And today, I'm going to be talking about culture shock is just a phase, not a permanent change. For those of you who may not be familiar with the term, culture shock is a phenomenon that occurs when individuals find themselves in unfamiliar cultural environments. Whether it's due to moving to a new country, visiting a foreign land, or encountering a new workplace or social group. Culture shock can be a powerful and disorienting experience. Up to last year, I studied in a government school, but things did not work out for me there, so I changed to an international school. During the first week, my science teacher told us to prepare for an individual presentation. I had a major culture shock on how my friends just took it so easily while I was freaking out. Because presentations in my old school were a really big deal. But while culture shock can be difficult, I learned that it can also be a valuable learning experience. By immersing ourselves in new cultures and ways of life, we can expand our horizons, challenging our assumptions, and develop a deeper understanding of the world around us. Despite being exposed in an entirely new world, I remain grounded, remembering the values that has been installed in me from my humble upbringing. I serve as a shining example to us all, proving that one can achieve great heights without losing sight of my roots. Culture shock, but I remain unaffected. Thank you.